Hey guys and welcome to another Demon Souls video and I'm picking up pretty much where I left off just a couple of minutes ago uh, where we went to the Valley of Defilement because I'm on a mission to find some rotten arrows and uh, we're gonna use them to murder the bastard dragon of Boletaria map 2 I think because he got my tea cold because I spent far too long trying to kill him with the with not enough damage using ordinary arrows and that didn't work very well so I'm gonna try poison instead which I think works much better and we're gonna have to get them in the valley of pain and this place ah oh god it's it's the blight town of demon souls uh, yes it's not as laggy though to be fair it's not really as far as I can remember laggy at all but it does contain fun things like poison, curses and um, no sorry plague plague rats is the word I'm looking for um, and uh, many drops many chances to fall down and die and oh god and these guys I forgot about you how about some parrying maybe if you just stop being such a douche thank you Ah, oh, that felt much better. I, I feel relieved. Thank you. And there's quite a few items in this world, in fact. Um, and uh, we're going to see if I can find them all without falling down and dying, uh, which is a distinct possibility. This might be bad for my... Death count, to be perfectly honest. Ah, oh, hello. Maybe some parry? Maybe? Oh, did you headbutt me? Did you just headbutt me? That's just plain rude. Oh, stop doing that. Use your weapon. Uh, or maybe not. Alright, screw that. You're going to have to go down. They do a surprising low amount of damage, these guys. I remember them doing more damage. Or maybe I just have got a really nice armor that resists their attacks. I don't know. What? What the? Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Oh, crap. Come on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite hard to parry, these guys. Quite hard indeed. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Because it's so damn satisfying. What the hell was that? I do remember this place roughly. Uh, but there's so many places you can fall down and all that. So it's, it's not particularly hard missing things here. Hmm. Gonna go and grab this, I think. What well, a bit of a mess this. And it's very, very similar to uh, Blight Town. Morning Star. Well, I think that Morning Star is actually not a bad weapon. I seem to remember it actually doing something good. Or maybe not. Uh, I seem to remember there being a regenerative weapon that regenerates hit point, but maybe it wasn't this one. I can't quite remember, but yeah, it's supposed to be one. Maybe it's the... yeah, it's called something holy something. Yeah, not this one. Sorry, I'm being confused. Let's have a bit of a look around here because there's many, many hidden items and many ways of falling to my death. And sometimes we can fall down and find items as well, so that's... Slightly redeeming, I suppose. Hmm, what's this place anyway? Oh yeah, I can... Oh yes, we've got a bit of a shortcut here. I think we can actually operate this thing and then this dude kills himself because he's... Yeah, he did. I don't know why he got so unhappy when I used this thing, but yeah. Oop, fuck! I don't know, I keep sliding off stuff at this bloody place it's not 
good? No, sir, not at all. Oh yeah, hey guys, what's what's going on? What's cooking? Whoa, there's quite a few of you. I don't like that. Let's just clear up the area a bit, shall we? And let's just miss the attack and do that fucking guard break that I always does for no apparent reason. Ah. Oh, you got me poison. Are you happy now? Are you happy? Why? Well, Stop doing the guard break or I will throw myself off a cliff. <laughs> I don't know why the hell my character keeps doing that. Really annoying. Uh, I should equip the anti-poison thing, I suppose. If I can remember which one that is. It's one of those lotuses, right? Royal Lotus. Yes, that's good. I seem to remember poison being quite powerful in uh, in Demon Souls, uh, in the sense that it's actually taking quite some time before it actually stops. Yeah, it's still going. Let's see how long it takes. Uh, am I supposed to fall down? I think I. Uh, hmm, I can't remember which order to do this, but I'm going to fall down and pick up some stuff. Hopefully, don't fall down to your death, please. Thank you. Oh, Crescent Moongrass, that's... that's great. Thanks, game. Thanks, that was really nice of you. Thank you very much. And the renowned hero soul. That was even better. Yeah, that's... Uh, terrific. That's it. Nothing useful down here. Well, we're gonna have to fall down here, right? Ah, uh, this is a bit of a maze, yeah. More crescent moongrass. Why are you giving me crescent moongrass? It's really not particularly useful at this point in the game. But, okay. Hey, guys. One shot in time? Well, almost. Ring of magical dullness. Yeah, I think that will actually reduce magical damage, I think. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh god damn it. Stop doing that. And I want to be using some full moon grass and not that lotus, sorry guys. Oh my god. Let's get stuck on everything. Why don't you weapon? Oh my god. Could you please hit these guys? And I would be super happy. And here's have a, a backstab, you fuck. Mm, yeah, that worked. Black turpentine. I can apply that to weapons, I believe. And uh, we're going to go up here and see if I missed anything up here. Yes, please climb very slowly because it's more dramatic that way. You look confused. I'm going to parry you just because you look so confused. Oh, really? Quit kicking me in the face! I've grown very attached to my face. Or has my face grown attached to me, maybe? Uh, sorry, bad joke. Have I been here? I believe I have, right? This is the way I would have come down. Yeah, alright. Let's just go over here anyway and see what we can find. Maybe we should do a little bit of healing, perhaps. Once we've disposed of this individual here. Oh, where did you come from? Hello. Yes, don't get too carried away, please. Relax. See if we can uh, make a deal here. Damn, they are so hard to parry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and do a better job, but guys, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to. But let's, uh, let's be patient. Let's try and learn their attacks again. All right, you're gonna be my parry puppy here. That worked. Massive overkill. I'm sorry about that. That was kind of maybe a tad unnecessary, but you know. 
That's how uh, the cookie crumbles, really. And I believe this is where I was. Yep. Kind of fell off from up there and... Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go back then. And I wonder what the world tendency is at. Let's just check, shall we? It's kind of neutral, I think, which is uh, pretty shitty. Oh, where did you come from? Uh, stop kicking me! Really cheap, you know that. Or maybe they have poisonous feet. I don't know, maybe like really bad foot fungus or something that's very contagious. Oh god, foot fungus. Ugh. Yeah, powerful enemies these, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah. Go down this way. There's a fog gate and I believe we are nearing the, uh, the filthy lady. Which, uh, sounds perhaps a bit more fun than it is. It's just a filthy old woman that sells filthy stuff. And are you alive? No. Some of these guys do get up. So better be safe than sorry. Oh, there's always stuff in the way of the camera on this map, which is really annoying as well. Oh, hi there. Slam. And I believe there's some people hiding over here as well, right? Yes. For sure. Oh yes, this is so satisfying indeed. Let's see if we can get you as well, right? Come over here, because I don't want to fight you in that big thing of whatever it is. Bush or something. Can't see your arms really very well, but alright, let's do it anyway. That attack is tricky to parry. But I'm getting slowly, or slowly getting better at it. More stuff. Shard of Faint Stone. I can't remember what that does. But it's an upgrade stone, of course, but I don't really know for exactly what. And I wonder what I have equipped ring-wise. Right, alright, that's... That's good. Okay, let's be careful about this. I can't... Oh my god! The camera is the um, the lag of uh, Valley of Defilement if you compare it to Blight Town in, uh, in Dark Souls 1. It is so much crap, so much wooden planks and shit that gets in your way. <laughs> but it's not as laggy as I've said, so that's nice, alright? Saint's robe, Saint's gloves, alright, maybe I should uh, equip... Oh, you little dirt bag! And you get kind of stuck everywhere and keep sliding around. It's really dangerous. Don't like it one bit. It's really easy falling off and dying. And then there's these guys. Oh god, they are truly disgusting. Ticks. I hate ticks with a fiery passion in real life. If I could put them on the WWF's list of endangered species, I would. If I would... Ex be able to exterminate every one of these guys from the from the universe, I would do it. I just hate these disgusting, blood-sucking bastards. Thankfully they are not as bad in the game as they are in real life, so we can just kind of murder them like this. I do believe they poison you somehow, if you get too close. Or something, I can't quite remember. They've never really given me any grief in this game. More so in real life, of course. I hate them so much. I can't really even describe it. Oh, I believe we have encountered the filthy woman. Yeah, well, she's not really clean, is she? Won't you buy something? My poor child is hungry. Well, if you have some 
arrows, I would be super happy. Rotten arrows, I'm not... 400 a pop, are you mad? Wow. Well, I'm gonna buy six of them. I'm gonna have to come back and uh, get some more because Finished that's not gonna already? do it. My little one is a growing boy. Please be generous. Please, complain. By all means, complain some more. Uh, and funnily enough, I actually think the uh, the character model for this woman's child is actually in the game somewhere. It's not being used, but it's actually in there, I think. If you uh, search for unused models or something like that and demon cells, you can actually find some uh, characters that were created and not used in the game, which is kind of interesting. And hello, Mr. Rat. These rats will curse you with the plague or whatever you want to call it. And I really don't. Oh, what the flying fuck? You hardly touched me, you miserable rat. And I caught the plague. God flipping damn it. I'm going to equip my widow, widow's lotus, right? Because the plague is bad, okay? Stay away from it. It's really bad, and I'm going to dispatch of the remaining rats here if we can maybe do that. Safely this time. Because these rats are kind of cheap. They don't really have to get very close to you, even, you know, touch you. They will plague you, or whatever you want to call it. They will infect you with the plague. And it's a bit of a pain, but I seem to remember the plague being a bit worse than this. It's not really that bad, is it? Pretty slow. Maybe I have a whole lot more hit points this time around or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just better equipped. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. Um, oh, yes, of course. This, we need to fall down on the other side, I believe, and get this. Beware of plague ahead. Yeah, that's true if we're going towards this room here. Yeah, all right. Um, we're going to have to fall down and um, and kick that bridge. I can't quite remember how to do that, but we are going to figure that out eventually. For now, um, the hell was that? It sounded like it was from coming from behind. I'm not sure it was though. Now there is a little bit of a ambush over here, I believe, and then there's these guys. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, these guys are, let me tell you, no fun. Can I maybe... yes, let's just be safe. Rather safe than sorry. This looks like a normal one of these bastards, right? Well, it's not! He's huge and he's uh, not nice at all. And he's really, really quite fast. Uh oh, no, 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 no. And I think he does something nasty to you as well. So I'm going to quickly escape a bit away here if I can. I think I can actually flatten him if I... No, I can't. He's got a lot of poise, this gentleman here. And yeah. Oops, 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 don't be a douche. We're gonna fall down here and murder the other individual before Mr. Troll comes down here. Come on down, or have you gotten stuck somehow? I hate these guys, they are really a pain! Maybe not so much here as on the, uh, the next map. Uh, they are even worse there, so yeah, you'll find out soon enough. And if we have white well tendency, I think there's going to be a ladder around here somewhere which allows us to climb up and pick up some stuff. But we haven't, so uh, we're just going to have to wait with that and see if we might be able to make that happen. And hello, I remember you. I remember you trying to ambush me, you little fucker. Okay, never mind. Really haven't got time for that, sorry. 
And I'm still plagued, it would seem. Kind of curious to see how long it takes. Oh my flipping god, guys! I'm kind of curious to see how long time it will take before the plague subsides. Okay, let's just... Let's just go this way. And heal up a tiny bit. These guys will follow me, so no worries. Boom. And, uh... Boom. It's kind of a miss, that. Oh, bastards. And one side swipe should deal with you guys, right? Yes. There's so many of these guys. Far more than I actually remember. And isn't there some sort of ambush in here? Or have we triggered that already? Ah, we, I think we have. And I can hear the sound of more lovely ticks. Oh, you guys, you're so cute. And I'm gonna murder every single one of you. And I seem to remember these guys are dropping something, maybe an upgrade stone or something, but they don't right now for some reason. Don't know why. Yeah, look at this place. Isn't this just great? It's just really, really nice looking, right? Lots of leeches and, uh, poison and shit. Oh no. There's one of those big angry goblin dudes. So we're gonna do this. Shoot you. In the face, in the eyeball even. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Oh. And another one for luck. And how about you? Do you need some plug-in of the eye socket too? Apparently you do. Oh, that, yeah, the big angry dude is behind him. All right. All right. Oh, you, oh. you are in such a rush, Matt. You are so fast. And they don't really stagger very well, as I've said, but they don't have any problem staggering me. Not that I have that much poise, but still. I can't see anything for all of these bloody walls and planks and shit. <laughs> oh, you dropped a stone of ephemeral eyes. I didn't remember that. That's kind of nice. I wonder if you can farm these guys for stones of ephemeral eyes. That would be kind of nice. And I'm still plagued. Damn it, that is pretty crazy. Maybe we should use one of the... Uh, I think we're going to have to do that. That's better. And here we have the boss fight. And should I do it? Yeah, why not? I, I'm i kind of foggy about this boss moveset, really. And I do think he's got some sort of regenerative thing going for him, but we'll see. Look at all those lovely shades of green and puke and <laughs> whatnot. It's such a nice place, this. Yeah. And if you want to be a complete cheese, uh, cheesy individual, you can actually kill this boss from up here, I believe, with a bow. It's uh, not really much of a problem. But I'm not going to do that. I, I'm going to shamefully have to admit that I did that the first time I fought him because I didn't feel like fighting him really for some reason. He's, he looks a bit intimidating. But we're going to try and go down there and figure out how to do this. And I can't quite remember. Oh god. He covered me with this. I don't know what that does. It hurts me continuously. Yes, it does. I don't know if you... Oh yeah, if you go and touch a torch, if you set fire to yourself, I think you can actually 
get rid of that gunk. Uh, I don't know why I'm running down there. I could just, w well, fall down, I suppose, but, yeah. Oh, God flipping damn it! Ah, uh, I can't quite remember how this boss works. Is that the front or is that the back? I don't know. And I actually just remembered I really should have used fire on this guy. Oh, get away from me, man. Oh, I did not believe you were going to do that. Stop doing that. It's bad for my uh, complexion. And I do believe he does have uh, some sort of regenerative uh, thing he does that will allow him to have his hit points come back. I really don't remember. Oh, he did that again. I'm doing a fair amount of damage, but I'm finding this a bit... Oh, it should be... Fine, right? Oh, he's growing one of those lumpy things, isn't he? Or I don't know. Did you actually hit that? Hit me there? I'm not quite sure how you managed, but yeah. Yeah, I've had enough of your shenanigans. That was quite easy. Hmm. Strange. Oh well. Let's pick up some useless stuff, shall we? I don't know why there's so much crescent moon grass around here. It's not really particularly useful this late in the game, but maybe I'm supposed to go here earlier. I'm not sure. Great club. All right. Don't want that. More crescent crap. Maybe guess more. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yes. Have some more crescent moon grass, right? And we're going to have to go up this way, I believe, to try and grab the item uh, over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Can I? Oh, yes, I could have just broken this. I'm being silly. Attack. Yeah, good advice, that. I'm going to recommend that message. Right, so... Oh, more Crescent Moon crap. Thank you. Uh, we have another arch stone, I believe, and we're gonna... And should we go back to the Nexus, or should we maybe go buy some... some poisonous arrows? I think we're gonna go buy some poisonous arrows. I haven't gotten very many souls. I remember this place giving me more soul, because it is one of the later maps, I think, but... But you can, of course, play them in any order, so I don't know. Uh, but I believe I might go and buy some poisonous rotten arrows off camera so we can go beat the crap out of the dragon in Boletaria. One of them at least. And uh, I will see you in the next episode and then we'll do just that. So, take care guys. Thanks for watching and all that. See you around. Bye.